Ready to go? Where are we going? Game two of the weekend. Double header here in New York. Glad you're with us, B-Rob. Glad to be back. See you, brother. Later. How's it going? Thank you. New York. We are back. Daily vlog scene. It's good to be back. Great to be back. Double headers, man. We're playing the Atlanta Blaze. Coming off of a short trip in Denver. Flew back, played them Friday night, had practice yesterday, turned it around. Double headers are really challenging on the body and the mind, but I think we're for the World Championships playing seven games in nine days. So definitely something we need to get used to and enjoy in a way because different than college, we don't get to see each other every day as players and teammates. So when you do have double header weekends, you have like four days in a row together, practice, etc. So you actually get into a good vibe. Me, Rob. Yo. First Lizard game of the season for you, right? First Lizard game let's ever. Let's go! Ever! Ever, let's ever. go! <laughs> you guys know what that is, right? What? Good deal! You gotta put your seatbelt on. Quick update on the season. The Lizards are in a two-game rut. We lost in Denver, as I said, two nights ago, and the week before that, we lost to Ohio in Ohio. So the start of the season was really hard. We had Denver, we won, Ohio, then Denver again. So both teams that were in the championship last year. Atlanta today, then we have a bye, then we play in Florida, then we have another bye for the Final Four. So pro lacrosse is crazy right now, we all know that. But this is the best part, game day. Getting to drive up from Brooklyn to Long Island, see all the guys. B-Rob's gonna take care of you throughout the game, show you highlights, and then we're gonna meet right back here in the car after the game to do a recap. Hopefully it's a good recap. Guess we'll find out. Luck. See you in a couple hours. Have a great day, Paul. First one here, we'll be the last one out too. Look at him, they grow up so fast. He's got the bag lunch and everything. Bye, Dad. What's <laughs> up? Ah, good deal! <laughs> Quiet and dark. <sighs> Head is a little bit clear now. I'm gonna talk to you guys about losing. Did you guys just lose? I don't think they saw the final score. They didn't? In the video, they didn't. Oh, we well. Could, we could spin it like we want. Big game. <laughs> big game, let's Beat go. The ways. Dude. Yep. Hopkins got the five seed. What's up with that? Terps with the one seed. Uh, let's go. Uh, Hopkins, <laughs> big 10 champs. <sighs> you good? Keys are in the car. Loss number two tonight. Keys. After some decompression, I've got two things to share with you. The first, you've probably already heard of before, which is losing's hard, but I found after losing for 20 years of playing lacrosse, I've been playing for 20 years, B-Rob, that you actually respond and there are more players out there that play better after losses than there are those that play better after wins. It sucks, but just like anything, sports, school, business, social life, when you hit the bottom, 
you respond. It's resilience. Energetic real quick? Yeah, energetic. Like the Terps lost to Hopkins, so we're going to come back and be strong and win the championship. So it's 50-50 because Hopkins lost first. Can I say point two now? Yeah, sure. Point two, which I, I'm actually kind of digging about this vlog, is that for the most part, athletes beyond lacrosse, basketball, whatever, they're, they're romanticized for winning and scoring a ton and having accolades and MVPs and all this stuff. And what I can't emphasize enough is that losing sucks for me. It happens a lot. I play poorly. Hopefully I win more than I lose and play better than I play poor. This is part of sports. Let's shut this thing down.